good morning and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma, stick around for hauls and vlogs and chats and we're back with a weekly vlog. So you can see the washing that I'm gonna bring you along with to put me away later. Put me away, put away with me later. Um, so there was no video um, on Saturday. I was supposed to go to Costco, we didn't end up going. That means I owe you a Costco haul. I hope we're all okay with that. Today is gonna be a homey video. First stop, I'm gonna go and get my nails done. I have left these grow. They're literally hanging on by a thread. If I did one little flick, they would all come off. So I'm gonna go and get my nails done quickly, really early, as soon as it opens, so I can just run in and get them done. And then we're gonna be sorting holiday stuff out. I'm gonna show you the cheeky bar. Yes, I bought it. If you watch my Home Bargains haul, or Home Bargains Come Shop With Me, you'll know there was a tiki bar in there. In another video, I showed you the box. So, I can show you that. Sorting holiday stuff, tidying rooms getting just stuff ready for summer. In England, we break up, well, I break up. Um, the kids break up next Thursday. Not sure about you, let me know in the comments. So, um, we're getting close to that time, but there's a big lorry outside about to cut down a tree, I think. So I'll leave you here and I'll come back when these are done. I said to Erin, what color should I have? And she said, white. So I'm going for white. Never had white before, but that's what I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, um, I'll trust her. I trust her. I trust the, the views of a very aesthetic, oh my gosh, they're so chipped, a very aesthetic 11 year old. Right, let's go. Yay, I'm back. I just um, did some work when I got back. I got white, which I can't remember. Now, white I think is trendy. I mean, let's be honest, I don't really know what's trendy, but I got, I've gone for white. Um, my girl suggested white. I thought, well, I'll go with her, and I think people in Love Island have white. And basically, I look like the people in Love Island, so I should wear white. Right, I, yeah, as I said, I've just edited some work, um, which is really fun. Look at this. Mounting of washing. Also, um, I'm gonna go into people's rooms, and you will see that most of us have a sheet. I have a Harry Potter sheet, because it's so warm. Did I mention it's hot? <laughs> because it's so warm, um, I've just been sleeping with a sheet. Stephen, however, wants to go full duvet still. So, I've been having a sheet, so we've all got a sheet on our bed. So I am now gonna put this mountain of washing away. Um, also, I did an ASOS order. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever put it on my Instagram, I might. So maybe go and check that out, it might be coming soon for swimming costumes. So um, keep your eyes peeled out for that. Uh, or maybe not, we'll see. So I'm gonna put this washing away. Um, I'm going to tell you something very boring about our washing. Also, I'd love to hear your washing stories. <laughs> so what we do is we um, wash all week. We do a load a day. Um, and at the weekend, we probably do two a day. Because <clears throat> we do sheets and stuff. And then on a Sunday, Stephen, yes, Stephen. And I know some of you will be like, you're very lucky. Stephen does the ironing. Uh, I actually rarely have anything that I need ironing. So he just does the ironing because it's mostly his stuff. And then it all gets piled here. And they are piled into family members' items. And then I get the lovely job of having to put them away. Um, well, I don't with my girls. I put them in her room and she puts them away. My boys are still put away. And Stephen, he puts his own away. Uh, what was I going to say? I think I'm just going to put my girls away today because... As you will know, she's finishing secondary, no, not secondary school, blimey. She's finishing primary school next week. And she's a little bit up and down at the moment just because, you know, she's going to miss a friend. So I think, you know what, I'll just put a washing away for her. I'll just get it done rather than, like, piling more stuff on top of her. She is in a school play and that is the dress rehearsals today. And then when you'll watch this on the Wednesday, I'm going to go and see it. And they were only going to give us four tickets. So it's going to be me and my mum and then Stephen and his mum. Because my dad can't go alone because he's in a wheelchair. It's a whole thing. Anyway, but they've said we can have loads of tickets. So um, I'm going to go and see it with my mum and dad. And he's um, got a new electronic wheelchair. Electronic? Electric? Is it maybe a mobility scooter? I can't... I, Apologies, I can't quite remember what, which one it is. Um, so we're going to go see it Wednesday afternoon, and then Wednesday evening, uh, Stephen and his mum and dad are going to see it, and my sister's going to go along. I'm very excited. It's Shrek. She's donkey. Um, so it should be really, really fun. She's got a little donkey outfit. So, yeah, I'm 
I'm very excited. Right, let's put this washing away. Let's go and see what kind of state the kids' rooms are in. They shouldn't be too bad. And um, then let's do the next activity, which is starting to think about stuff for holidays. Uh, you know, I was packing for Disney World for, I don't know, you remember on here, about three months. I have not even given any thought to um, our little week away in the summer. And it's vastly approaching. So let's put the washing away first and then we can do that together. Oh no, it appears there's another pile of washer that I've got to put away as well. So I'm going to have to put that away. But actually, my girl's room is actually very tidy. There's a bit of noise outside because um, people are cutting down hedges and stuff. Yeah, she's done good. This room is very, looking very tidy. Actually, we went to Mr. Beast Burger. If any of your kids watch YouTube. And they do have Beast Burgers in England, if you Google it. You can't sit in. Um, well where we went but you can order it and take it away so right let me put the washing away um, see she on the bed also this is my girl's latest purchase when I tell you she has wanted this um, frog from Builder Bear for as long as I can remember and she got him at the weekend with some pocket money so right let's put the washing away okay appears we have a shoe problem so once you've put the washing away i'm going to get the shoes out i reckon some of these don't fit her and i'm going to leave them out for her to try on and then if not we can go to the charity shop also some of this stuff needs hanging up um she had quite a bit of um savings so she also picked herself up some little she picked up these trousers from h&m and she picked up this little top which says self-love and this is primark and if your kiddos are around my kiddos age if you get a 2xs that should fit um them quite nicely without it being crop tops or anything so washing away and then sorting shoes out i'm actually do you know what i'm happy but i'm happy about this i'm quite happy to do this i'm going to put a podcast on and get this done also, I've got myself my Starbucks um, Starbucks cup, which I thought, oh, I might not have used this. I've been using this every day, and I've got decaf diet coke and ice in it. Like a fancy queen that I am. I'm just distracting it. Stop with your hedges. It's loud and annoying. Right, let's go. I've got to do it. got to do it. Come on, you can do it. I've got these ready out for her to try on. It's very bright in here. <laughs> ready to try on. And then these... Um, are her crocs and please let me know I could google it but I trust you better can you put crocs in the washing machine I usually hand wash them I want these to be nice and clean for holiday but I'm sure you can put them in the washing machine let me know what you know let me know what you know and I've tidied this up a bit and we need to get some of the clothes out um, I'm wondering if I'm going to get around to this today, but I need to work out what we're taking on holiday, and yes, but the shoes are sorted, I just need her to, to check those flip-flops and stuff. My boys' room was also looking very tidy, I'm going to put the washing away, again the sheet, and we have a fan in here because it, um, this is, we've been sleeping, we're just saying this is the one room in the house that's so hot, but I'm going to do Ethan's washing a bit different, I'm going to put the stuff away that he might wear in the next couple of weeks, but anything that could be for holiday, I'm actually going to put upstairs um, rather than putting it away to pack it, if that makes sense. Because there's a few bits and bobs here that he won't be wearing until we go on holiday. So I'm going to get all this put away. So I've put everything away and these are the bits and bobs that I'm going to keep out. But also I'm going to go and get another box out of this duvet. is such a strange crumply material. <laughs> it's a, Toy Story on, but I'm also going to get the Ethan's box of shorts out because I think I can take some of those out and get ready to pile them up as well. He's definitely going to need some shorts over the next couple of weeks, but I think there'll be some pairs in here like this one, which can go straight in the holiday pile. Um, and we can just keep a few in this for the actual, like for example, these yellow ones, will, I wouldn't probably wear those. Um, 
if we're doing play dates and stuff because they will get wrecked. But let's get those nice and piled up. Ready to go upstairs, ready to go back into the cupboard because he can wear these in the next couple of weeks. Obviously at the moment he's wearing a school uniform every day. But when we break up there is a few days less than a week. So he'll need some for then. Uh, and also the next couple of weekends. But these can go on my stairs to get transported up top top which is where I'll be doing the packing. We call the loft, you know my office, top top. So we used to call the old house as well, top top. So there's upstairs, which is where I am, downstairs, and top top. <laughs> That's, you know, when you just do things in your family that are just a bit strange. Oh my gosh. You, I don't know if you caught that. Black Panther is currently talking to me from a drawer. <laughs> He's saying, we will win the battle. Result, I found one of my girl's hangers. Hooray! We are always looking for hangers, especially if she keeps buying clothes with the pocket money. And if we go through here, the rats are still alive and thriving, so there's a hamster. If we go here, they should live on the stairs because that is where the things live until I take them upstairs. And when I tell you, up there is like a burning inferno at the moment. And I've put all the sheets, so this is where we keep the kids' sheets here. Um, all higgledy piggledy, all mixed up, but this is where we keep them. We did have the, them all upstairs, but the adults' sheets are upstairs. The kids' sheets here, like, so if anybody's poorly in the night, you just quickly grab a sheet and it's all there. But this is something I definitely need to sort out, and this is something I want to sort out as well. Um, my boy's really gone to town on his uh, drawing, God love him. Pokemon, Boretown, Aston Villa, Football Club, Football, Ethan. He is doing some stellar drawing. Also, guys, I think we need to do a a video with me sorting my wardrobe because it has gone, it's gone a little bit rogue. It's gone a little bit rogue. All the lights of um, need charging. You know, I have lights up there. They all, oh, well, that one's gone. But I feel like we've got a little bit out of hand and maybe... These were all like colour and now they're just all like put it on, shove it on there. Oh, I've got this the other day, a monkey, and it is so nice on. Oh, it looks so nice with my white nails. I might wear that when I go and see um, Erin's playing it like a fancy queen. But yeah, I feel like everything needs sorting a little bit. So let me know if you'd like me to do that. I quite like sorting videos. They're quite relaxing, aren't they? That one's not too bad, but... Oh, it's getting a bit out of hand. So, I don't think I've ever shown you, we got these baskets, I did this haul like ages ago, we got these baskets, and I keep like just rolled up face, face, face flannels, face flannels in here, and Erin and I use these to, I mean she's not using it to wash her makeup off, but I use these to wash my makeup off, and then we just chuck them in the wash. Um, I'll fold it up when I, but yeah, this is quite nice. I don't know, I always feel fancy because I've got ro ro rolled up towels. I don't know what that says about me. It doesn't, doesn't take much to make me feel like a posh queen. Ta-da! Just goes up there with the loo roll. Those need restocking. And then here's all our toiletries. I'd love to get this bathroom done one day and have this like a big fitted thing. But um, we'll have to wait for another day to get that done. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if this bathroom, we've done, well, I've shown this bathroom a million times. It's fine. But I would like... A bit more storage in here because um you know I like getting three for twos and stuff. Maybe I could move that along and put something there. Hmm. Like you know, I've got in the utility room, I've got like maybe I could move that along and put some kind of shelf there. I'll have to have a little think or get bigger drawers maybe. I've come to a decision surrounded by washing Stevens. <laughs> Seems I didn't. Um with my girls packing, I have decided this time. I'm going to sit with her and go through all the clothes that she wants to take um, and then potentially she can maybe start packing for herself because obviously she knows what kind of clothes she likes so perhaps I can sit with her and say right you need to get this amount of this, 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 this and this um, and 
then she can take her own outfits and her earrings and stuff. I know she wouldn't want to pack by herself, but like getting her a little bit more independent. Do you know what? I'm happy to pack for her till she's 45. <laughs> but I want her to just kind of, just have some skills really, just starting to get some like grown up skills, um, packing. If I said to both my kids, just pack, I know my boy would just pack like one pair of socks. 17 Spider-Man toys and a book. So just kind of setting them up with some sort of skills. Um, let me know what you do with your kiddos or if you're still, you can remember what your parents did or your carers did. So yeah, I'm gonna do that with her um, probably at the weekend and say we need this, this and this, what do you want? And then that'll give us some sort of autonomy. Now I'm wondering if I've used the word autonomy in the correct <laughs> in the correct capacity. I think I am. And if I'm not, don't tell me, I'd rather not know. I'm gonna go and have a meeting now and then I'm gonna show you the tiki room. And I, I know that I talk about the weather a lot, but it is hot. I am slightly flagging a little bit. Stephen's like, cause he's working from home today, he's like, it is hot. And I was like, yeah, it is. I'm slightly flagging and I am nice and dressed, but as soon as I get off um, from you after I've showed you the tiki room, I am going to put um, a bikini or a swimming costume on just to get a little bit of air going round. Uh, yeah, let me see what, let me see the, the temperature. It's, I know it's going to be 30 something at the weekend, let's see. Let's have a look guys. Weather. In sunny Birmingham. It's 29 today. And Sunday, which is when I'm hosting um, mum and dad and my sister, because it's dad's birthday, 33. I'm going to have to get the canopy out. I'm going to have to get the canopy out, because granddad Roger, and he's watching this, he knows he can get a sunburn head. So, right, I am just going to um, do this meeting, and then I will show you the tiki room. I can't wait for you to see it. It's so, oh my gosh, I had so much fun putting it up at the weekend. Guys, I'm coming in at you with the inside of my tiki room. So um, I asked loads of people, oh, you having a little sing? You having a little sing? <laughs> I asked people if it had a shelf and it does. Um, and also it's got some room underneath, I suppose. We could keep some stuff, I don't know, toys and stuff. But over here I've got some cups and um, little candles because I will show you in a bit, I don't have all this out. I will put a picture in of the whole thing done, but I don't have it all out all the time because it'll get absolutely ruined. It'll be out for like special occasions, weekends, parties, but um, obviously in England, even during the night, you can get loads of, what's the water called? Condensation, is that the word? I don't know if that's the word I'm thinking of. You know when it goes in the grass in the morning, anyway. So these are from B&M. Um, everything in there at the moment uh, was really cheap all the summer stuff and these were I got four of these uh, I think that was one pound fifty for four maybe I've got a couple of these for the kids which I thought would be really fun and then you will have seen these in my home sense video so that's the little drink section and then we've just got some drinks and then this is very old um I think I feel like Stephen bought this for me many moons ago i love this tray i want to get another one and when it comes to winter i will not be leaving this stuff out here this will be like put away probably in the loft and then here's all my goodies that i decorate the table with i will show you some of them in the plastic box do you remember the plastic box that was like what am i going to use this plastic box for so i have whoops one of my trader sam special cups which is first edition trader sam cup that has got bamboo straws in from amazon then these are so precious to me I'm, i might even to start taking these back in i've got a third edition trader third edition trader sam head and i have my favorite which you know usually lives in my living room and will go back in my living room at the end of summer my first edition trader sam um, head and then in here I have all sorts of bits and bobs that I will use to decorate it whenever we use it um, for like parties because this sort of stuff is paper it would just be destroyed we have um, the tiny <laughs> if 
you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I bought accidentally bought tiny shot glasses. Things thinking I thought these were full size, but people have said you could put sweets in them, or you could put olives, or Jello shots, or Jello. I'm turning an American jelly shots. What else have we got in here? We've got some flamingos that are also used for decoration. We've got some little uh, palm tree sticks that are your classic umbrella cocktail sticks. Um, all sorts of bits and bobs. So this goes up when I'm using it. I'm going to put this back. It's got a lid on. Oh, no, I need to put my heads back. It's got a lid on so it doesn't get... Stuff doesn't get ruined, but I am really worried about him getting ruined. Maybe I should replace him with something else because he's so precious to me. Put this on. I'm going to say it. So now that I've said 50 times today, it's very hot. Now, we had the paddling pool out yesterday and we used some towels to dry. Um, these are the towels that we used to, to dry ourselves yesterday and we'll just use these all week and then I'll just shove them in the washing machine. So I'm going to put these under here as well. So I'll do that now. Ta-da! So yeah. Um, I wonder what I could keep under there. I could keep like maybe pool toys and stuff. I'm not sure really. But uh, Stephen's just sticking the um, sign to the front. The, yeah, these are my garden shoes. I have had these shoes, I don't know how many years. Do they even do these kind of crocs anymore? These are what I call my garden shoes. Let me know if you have garden shoes. Ta-da, here we go. So obviously when it's decorated, it's got all the stuff on it looks much better. But this is how I will keep it in between those times. So this is the Tiki Room from Home Bargains. There was one, I think, in B&M, but this kind of matches our garden furniture at the back. It comes with two stools, a uh, glass top tiki bar. Um, I got this sign from, again, if you'd have seen on my Instagram, I thought it was gonna be really small, and <laughs> it's massive. But this is, I, th I think it was only about six pound. I don't imagine this will last that long. It's very flimsy plastic. Then I also got these, which I can keep up because they're kind of waterproof. And then I got these from Aldi the other day and they go all the way around and they are, what's the word? Solar powered, obviously. You're not gonna get much solar from under there, but I'll put it out in the sun. And this was from B&M as well. And this was, I think it was a pound. I wish I'd got more. And then I got that from Primark, which I thought was a very Trader Sam's. And then we've just got some of that up. And just some bits and bobs here from different places. Um, which are garden stuff, so they should be fine to stay out. So, there we go. Margot is currently in the shade. We are drying out the paddling pool. We will get the paddling pool out in a few days, but... Um, the kids have got clubs. Oh, they, Ethan's got football tonight. It's going to be absolutely boiling. Margo! Hello. You a bit warm? You a bit warm? She's hanging out in the garden. She flipping loves it. So, there we go. I'm very pleased. What a lucky lady. <laughs> flipping heck. I will, um put my swimming costume on, have a meeting, it went well, so that was really good. Yeah, so the tiki room's up, started to think about packing. Um, I will pop to Costco at some point before we go away. Please let me know any kind of videos you'd like to see this summer. Would you like to see some tidying, some cleaning, some fun, summer fun, some days out, anything, any, any shenanigans, let me know. I was gonna talk to you about some cars, but I forgot what it was. Oh, yeah, Margot, you know, I bought this paddling pool for £3, she didn't like it. Online it was like, this breed loves swimming and paddling. Not my Margot. My Margot looked at it, went in it, didn't go in it again. So she did not like the £3 paddling pool, but that's okay. Because it meant I could have a little paddling pool in the shade that I could sit in. <laughs> Just paddling pool for one. Uh, yeah, she wasn't a fan. Any tips for keeping pups cool in this weather? That'd be much appreciated. She seems okay. She like kind of likes hanging out in the garden and sunbathing. And we're really lucky that our house inside, apart from my boys' room, is actually not too bad. So uh, 
Right, my loves, I'm going to go enjoy the garden. I hope you're having a lovely... I don't know why I'm just literally just stroking my leg. <laughs> I hope you're having a lovely, lovely sunny day wherever you are. And if it's not sunny, I hope the sun's on its way to you. And if you hate the sun, I'm sorry. Roll on autumn. It's all I can possibly think about. I love you lots and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.